Hey guys, so in part 5 we're going to add basic authentication to our server. Now Echo lets you uh, implement uh, basic authentication uh, middleware fairly easy and we're going to see uh, how to do it. Then we're going shortly to talk about what is basic authentication, how it looks like, um, how to use it. And finally, we're going to look uh, inside Echo's functions uh, just to see that there is no magic in how uh, this middleware works and things are uh, fairly straightforward and uh, simple. Okay, so if you're joining uh, the series uh, for the first time in this video and have no idea how we got uh, to this uh, code you can either go to the first videos here and see exactly how we build the server uh, from scratch up until now or you can uh, go to the source code to the starting code uh, of this video and to the end code of this video which I'll add in the description below okay so with that said uh, let's start so we already have uh, Echo's middleware package and I was thinking to add the basic authentication middleware on the group of uh, the admin endpoints which uh, seems logical yeah, so let's do that Now, uh, oops. So, basic auth uh, middleware gets uh, a callback function which will give us uh, two strings the username and the password. Oops. And uh, echoes context. And we're going to see why uh, and how this happens uh, later on this video and this function will return a boolean so the implementation is fairly easy if this function inner callback function will return a uh, false uh, the middleware will, will reject uh, the request with a 401 and if it will return a true, it will pass it to the next middleware or uh, to the handler, whichever is next. So obviously here uh, we would uh, check in the database uh, if the password is uh, valuable, valid, uh, sorry, uh, valid. Um, but for the sake of this demonstration, we're just going to say that if oops, sorry, if uh, the username is equal to uh, let's say I don't know, Jack and password is equal to 1234, which is an awful password, but for the sake of this video, it's it will do. Let's return true. And if not, let's return false. So this is fairly straightforward. Now let me just uh, define my go path for a second. Let's build it, run it, now let's go uh, to the client I'm using, DHC, which by the way changed the name to Restlet, which made me look for the icon for a second, but fine. Let's go to our endpoint and it, it's, it was uh, the admin and we're going for the main admin data so let's try it and we see that we get getting uh, prompted by uh, the browser 
uh, with the user and password prompt and this happens because the server um, sorry the, the browser recognize that this is a base authentication uh, requirement so let's just add something here something here and it will not let us uh, uh, access and we can see that we're getting 401 in the logs let's try it again yeah and we're getting 401 now let's try jack1234 and we're getting a 200 with the data that we're sending uh, from that endpoint okay but what if we don't have a browser and we want to get uh, to this endpoint from a command line or some kind of service something like that so basic authentication all it is actually it's a, an authorization header with let's say jack and one two three four set it and just see that it's working it's working and uh, it have a prefix of uh, the string basic just for rec the recognition recognition of the type of the uh, authentication and we have a string now this string all it is it's a base 64 encoded uh, user and password so if we go to a base 64 decoder we paste the string we decode it and we see that we have our username separated by a colon and the password and this is all it is uh, actually so you can see that this is very uh, simple okay so now uh, let's dive inside echo's basic auth middleware and see exactly what's going on there why do we need this uh, c echo context and why if we return a boolean everything uh, seems to work so uh, basic auth uh, middleware it gets a, a callback our callback function which is of type basic auth validator which is uh, as we saw two strings echo context and returns a boolean so all it does actually it gets uh, the default basic uh, auth config uh, object it's add to the validator object our callback and then pass all of it in the basic auth with config uh, which uh, uses the basic auth uh, with config by default and what's going on here so this is our call this is our uh, object of the uh, basic config with the validator that we're passing in and we're checking in the beginning that the validator our callback is uh, not nil uh, we're adding assigning the default skipper and we're going to talk about what is this skipper uh, in the next videos but for now we just uh, uh, skip on this one uh -huh. and actually what we have here is a, a custom made uh, middleware and we're going to talk about it in the next video so let's just uh go and see how does this processing the uh, the basic uh, authorization so all it does actually it takes from the request the authorization header right it skips uh the length of the basic prefix which is the basic we saw in the uh, beginning of the value it decodes uh, the string the basic for a string that we saw uh, returns a, a, a array of bytes so we need to convert it to string and then it iterates uh, through each letter in the string until it uh, meets a column and uh, if it does meet a column it will uh, pass to our validator which was our callback from the begin with if you remember it will pass uh, all the strings before the column which is the username all the strings plus one because we want to skip the uh, column 
after the column which is the password and the context the echo context which is used uh, to skip to the next uh, middleware if uh, we're getting true from our uh, callback which we saw before if we don't then we're getting a 401 and that's uh, actually it so as you can see this is fairly simple and yeah so that was uh, a very short introduction to uh, basic authentication uh, middleware but i think that for most cases this is uh, more than enough now in the next video we're going to go and talk about uh, custom middlewares to uh, see dive deeper and understand uh, how this structure works and why but for now i think this is enough for uh, one video so thank you very much for uh, joining me and for in this series and i'll see you next time